make you feel good. The Dimorphic Jumper is quite a unique species of spider and is aptly named as there are two male variants. These variants not only differ in appearance but oddly enough behavior. And the dissimilarity in both is fairly extreme. The two male morphs are completely different. Most people probably wouldn't guess in a million years that they were of the same species. The gray morph, also known as striped morph, more closely resembles the female Dimorphic Jumper than does the tufted morph, which doesn't resemble either one of the others. According to entomologists at the University of Florida, Maeva inclemens is the only known jumping spider to have dimorphic males, and that's from a family of nearly 6,000 species worldwide. It is also a rarely observed phenomenon in zoology in general. The two types of males differ in both morphology and courtship behavior, and are found in roughly equal frequency in a population. The tufted morph has a black body with three distinctive black hair tufts protruding from the head, while the gray morph has bright yellow-orange pedipalps and black and white striped legs. Studies show that females do not have a preference for one male morph over the other. They are attracted to mates based on movement during courtship. Jumping spiders are considered beneficial as they eat all sorts of creepy crawlies that most people don't want in their homes. Here's one eating a mosquito. Oh no, please don't eat me. Also, jumpers are virtually harmless to humans. Oh sure, if you give one a squeeze, it may deliver an uncomfortable bite, but that can be avoided by not mishandling one. And the pain from a bite is nothing to write home about, in my opinion. And jumping spiders, well, they jump. They are capable of jumping many, many times their own body length. They most often do it to capture prey, but sometimes if a person gets too close, they may jump onto that person. The reason for this is not nefarious, merely curiosity. I just wanted to be your friend. And jumping spiders are lightning quick. <whistles> Dimorphics are medium in size as far as jumping spiders go, and they don't get quite as large as bold jumpers and tan jumpers. Females are larger than males and grow to about 10 millimeters, around 3 eighths of an inch, while males grow to about 7 millimeters. The female is somewhat translucent and has black hairs and spots over most of its legs. The cephalothorax, which includes the head, has hair that is beige, brown, and gold. There is an orange coloring around each of its eight eyes. The female has two orange to reddish lines down the back of the abdomen. The male gray morph isn't all that different from the female. It has black and white, beige or gray striped legs, and a gray abdomen with subtle orange markings. It has orange pedipalps, which are the appendages near the face. The tufted morph, sometimes called the dark morph, is really the one that looks quite different, almost not even like a jumping spider. It has a black body with three distinctive black hair tufts protruding from the head. Its legs are translucent yellow beige with sparse black hairs. In the United States and Canada, eh? Dimorphic jumping spiders are found east of the Rocky Mountains. Their habitat includes woodland edges, the outsides of homes, and the insides of homes. But don't worry if they get inside your home. They'll just eat all the things that you don't want in there. Get out of my house! Roaches, flies, oh, yeah. mosquitoes, moths, etc. Dimorphic jumping spiders eat small insects, mites, scorpions, and even other spiders. This woodland jumping spider female is similar to the female dimorphic jumper, but has much less hair on the cephalothorax and lacks the orange stripes on the abdomen. Incidentally, do you know why this woodland jumping spider has a green abdomen? If you guessed it's because she'd eaten a green insect, like a pale green assassin bug nymph, you're right! Yay! If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Both are free!